Hello, wonderful crowd of YouTube. JP here today. Uh, we're super excited to show you a new model, but it's probably the worst time to film a video tour. Super hot and humid outside. Frank is sweaty, I'm sweaty. But we thought it would be a good occasion to showcase how well those houses perform, not only in cold weather, but there are benefits of having such an insulated home in warmer climates. So without further waiting, let's have a look at the Thuya model. So here it is, the Thuya model. Um, this is actually the smallest model in our part model size tiny home, so 10 feet wide models. This one is overall 26, including that bump out section at the front. Uh, it can come with either a 50 amp uh, connection combined with propane equipment or 100 amp fully electrical. In this case, the client decided to go with the same color scheme as we've been including in our latest Charm and Know Your XL models, but again, the color is always up to you to decide. There's a few windows, a lot of windows on the back side as well, uh, so this model is quite efficient. Of course, uh, it's not the best model to go full-time with the family, but definitely if you're living on your own or if you're a couple, this is a really interesting model. So without further waiting, let's have a look at the interior layout. All right, so welcome inside the Thuya model. All right, so we have a pretty cool little design uh, right here. Um, like I said, this model is 26 overall dimension, quite short in dimensions, but all the essentials are there. Like any regular house, you wanna have a place to put your clothes when you come in. Right now they're not installed, but we have some uh, hangers directly on the entrance closet. You can put your stuff when you come in. You don't have to go through the house with your wet clothes to put them in a closet. Here is a sofa bed. Uh, again, you can sit three to four people, but when you have people coming over, you can have it deployed to be uh, an extra bed, so a double bed. Um, here we have uh, a kitchen table. That one is fixed uh, and it's next to the window, so lots of natural light will come in. Uh, we can use um, the second step of the staircase as an extra seat. So technically you can be uh, from three to four people around this table, which is also the maximum of capacity, uh, of sleeping capacity. So again, there was no point of doing a bigger table. This one really does the job. We also have a big awning window directly in the bump out. That one can be opened when it's raining. So it's pretty convenient if you want to have uh, an airflow. Of course you have air conditioning in that one, but again, the airflow can be uh, something people want. We have the electrical panel on this side. That one is 100 amp. Uh, we can also work with a 50 amp depending on your needs. In terms of heating source, the main heating source for that one will be uh, the mini split. That one is 12,000 BTU. It's good for any climate. Again, it will heat and cool the house. And considering our houses are really energy efficient, it's really important to have such insulation and air tightness, even if you're located in, in southern states like Arizona, uh, Texas, uh, Alabama, and stuff like that, because it is more costly to cool a house than it is to heat a house. So keep that in mind when uh, looking for a tiny house. At Minimalist, we strongly believe in uh, redundancy uh, when it comes to heating system, because if that one has a problem and it's winter time, you cannot rely on only one heating source. So we have a backup heating. That one is a direct vent electrical heater. We also have some other electrical elements that will provide backup heating if needed. So the kitchen uh, of this design is pretty compact, but super efficient. Uh, in this case, she chose a really rich color scheme with the merino blue and the dark uh, countertops. Here we have um, a tall cabinet in the entrance. That one is a closet uh, with a closet rod, uh, a down a cabinet in the bottom and also an upper cabinet. And we might as well put some hooks in the entrance for clothes. Uh, from right to left, here we have some regular cabinets. You can put whatever you want in there. Same for that one right here. And also we have uh, some drawers, of course, soft closing um, sliders all the time. We have a pretty uh, decent size uh, stainless sink. Of course, we don't want it to be too big because it's gonna sacrifice some counter space. And in a model like that, it's all about compromises, right? Uh, we have upper cabinets. Those one are awning doors. So plenty of storage right here, plenty of gear. And we also have an upper open cabinet right here. Um, so that one is also uh, appreciated by the customers. Um, in terms of cooking, we have a Furion two burner cooktop because that one is electric. We also have a built-in Furion uh, oven. And again, we always have a range hood to extract 
the air outside. That one is really important and it comes standard in all of our models. In the end, we don't sacrifice six inches of space. That one is a little spice rack, it's pretty neat. On the other side, we have a 24 inches apartment size fridge with a drawer underneath. Uh, here is the storage staircase. So that one adds up to the closet space and you might as well divide it in two spaces because it's really tall. Uh, we have a drawer right here and we also have another cool feature that is the pull-out pantry. It's installed in a different place because that model is different, but again, it's uh, never too much space for stuff, especially food in a tiny house like that. Uh, again, another drawer. And uh, a really cool feature we have here is the vented litter box compartment. So the client will install the litter box in there and we have a 12 volt fan extracting the air out. It's always plugged, always running, so you avoid bad smells that can be uh, even worse in a tiny house because it's a smaller footprint. Here we have a pull out step for the access to the loft. Again, that staircase right there is just a stunning piece of art. Uh, the boys and girls in the shop are doing miracles with this. Not only it's beautiful, it's also safe and it follows all standards. So you're definitely looking into something like this for safety and also comfort because the storage staircase is also really comfortable to use. So right now I'm sitting on the bed and uh, to be honest, it's pretty comfortable. The thing is, you don't expect as much storage in a loft uh, bedroom than you do in the downstairs bedroom. That being said, we have a full wall of storage directly on this side and also you have closets uh, downstairs. So the downside of having a house with only a loft is that um, you won't be able to change while standing up, but that, that part that's part of uh, having a tiny house with a specific layout like that. But the thing is uh, for comfort, uh, there is a rule here, um, the height, you need to be able to sit on the bed uh, and the rest of the space is normally attributed downstairs because this is where you mostly live. But again, when you're sitting on the bed, since you don't expect to stand up, you might as well have more space underneath as long as you have a clearance above your head. So I'm close to six feet. Right now I'm sitting, so definitely you can enjoy a book uh, or do any type of uh, bedroom related stuff without uh, being a pain. Uh, here we have the only window uh, in this loft. That one is a sliding window, so it could be used in case of an emergency. That one is the egress window. Uh, so that one is important to have this type of mechanism for safety. And we also uh, hope that you have a better view than some rusty red container like I do have here. But again, that's a pretty nice spot to enjoy a, a coffee in the morning while uh, enjoying the view on your land. And a friendly reminder here in the upper part, um, that is one of two included heat recovery air exchangers. Again, uh, this is mandatory to have in a tiny house that is energy efficient and this should never be an option. So there's a pair included in all of our models. All right, so, so don't think it's weird, but I'm super excited to show you this bathroom. It's been a while. I wanted to show you a bathroom like this. So, all right, here we go. Um, again, same color scheme as the inside, but we have that uh, pretty neat and unique shower design in this one. Um, we're creative people at Minimalist, but we like when the clients, uh, they get creative too. Again, that's something you can do in pretty much all of our models, choosing the style of um, your shower. In this case, the client went, like I said, a little more creative and she has that unique uh, wall pattern that is a little abstract. Chinese feng shui colorful feminine uh, also that uh, lady wanted that to represent her so uh, it's definitely something personal and we like that she did that little attention in the shower that one is 36 by 36 shower again we have space for most of the essentials again here it's a matter of compromises we might have put a stackable washer and dryer but then she would not have this cabinet on top to put towels and other stuff. So it's possible in here, but in this case, here's a two in one washer and dryer combo. Here is the mechanical room. This model is completely electric. So we have a 30 gallon hot water tank with a pressure relief valve that is connected to the outside. So if there was a leak, it would go outside. And we have the standard Sinope smart water valve. So that one shuts off the water entrance if there is a leak detected by one of the pods provided. We have the valves for the two-in-one washer and dryer so that way you don't need to pull it out. You can just operate them from here. And we have the doorbell uh, mechanism and we also have the power supply for the LED strips that are included inside the kitchen. So the fact that the client chose a two-in-one washer and dryer um, allows for 
an open compartment above to put some stuff and fold your, your laundry. That cabinet right here and in the bottom right here, we also have some more storage because we cannot benefit from the whole corner, but we, wanna, we might as well take advantage of what's available. Underneath here, we do have space because we try to have the plumbing as narrow as possible. So again, you can put shelves and organize it the way you want. On top, we have a nice little, um, well, on top of the vanity, we have a little uh, vase and then we have a mirror cabinet, medicine cabinet like that. Pretty convenient. And in this case, the client doesn't want to deal with black water, so we have the new separate tiny. So that one is not the separate villa, it's the separate tiny. Uh, again, same type of, uh, of uh, operation. It's a composting toilet, but if you want to have a look at it, it's more modern, it's more narrow, uh, and it's pretty slick. On top of it, we included a window because that's the only way to have natural light coming in the bathroom. So that pretty sums up that amazing bathroom. So that's a wrap for this 10 by 26 Tuya model. So that one has been standardized in terms of floor plan, but you can always choose your colors and also uh, the textures and appliances inside your model. Um, like all of our models, that one is meant for full-time living in any climate. The way we're able to achieve that um, is by making those houses energy efficient. And talking about energy efficiency, um, this is definitely a good way to have a house that will age well and that will last you for a long time. Energy efficiency comes with well insulated uh, structure, also with uh, mini split heat recovery, uh, air exchangers, all stuff like that, that we do include standard in all of our models. That will make a difference in your bills, electricity bills at the end of the month. So that will make your house last longer over time. And also we have a new re-engineered galvanized steel trailer frame that is standard on all of our models. So you can expect longevity with all of our houses. So, if you have any questions regarding this specific model of Thuya or any of our designs, feel free to reach out to us through our website. And uh, for people that are only there to watch what we do, keep following us on our different social media platforms and see you in the next video tour.